Okay, so just got the Cobblebot shipping number one in the mail. I'm one of the super early order backers. And this is the first package. There should be a second one coming, but nobody knows when. But let's take a look. So no not damage, not too much. Crumple corner. That's about it. Let's get in there. Now this is supposed to be mainly just motors, electrical components, and things of that nature. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in there. No, nothing in there. All right, so start with the hexagon. This should be the hot end. I did not opt for the dual extruder, so I believe I just get one of these. Now, granted, I am no I, I am no expert at 3D printing, but I have basic ideas. So it does include little tools, some very very tiny Allen wrenches. Tightening. There's the hexagon. God, it has a tiny little head. Small, small, small. And this is very encouraging. I wasn't sure about soldering, if that was going to be necessary. But it does look like most of these components include connectors such as that. Some headers. I don't really know what half of this stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, new to 3D printing in general. It looks like a probe of some kind. Temperature monitor, maybe. Oh, they have something there. <laughs> no instructions have been released yet for the Cobblebot, so I don't really know how any of this stuff goes together, so I'm putting it right back like I found it. That is the hexagon. That's pretty well wrapped up. And this is a fairly mm -hmm. heavy component, so... Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. What is that? Five stepper motors, I believe. What is a stepper motor? Again, I did not opt for the dual extruder, so I believe I get five instead of six. I'm not 100% sure about that. Again, a connector or a connector and not a series of bare wires. That's very encouraging. While I can solder, I'm not incredibly good at it. I haven't done it in many, many years. So I'd much rather not if I can avoid that. Alright, so far so good. Everything looks like it's in pretty good shape. And last component should be the power supply, if I am not mistaken. Ah, brand new pop. Brand new, right out of the box here. Switching power supply model YDS12-360. Yeah, don't know what that means. I'll put 12 volts and 30 amps, so. Looks like a fairly elf off the shelf product. And there we go. So people have commented in theirs on damage to the parts. This looks pretty. Actually, it looks like it may have been crushed a little. You see, it's off at an angle, just a little bit. So it looks like something may have flattened it out pretty good. Now, of course, to test the power supply, you need to apply a load to it to be able to test it. I'm not going to get into that at the moment. 220 and 110 voltage, so good for international and Ameri or 
American usage. That concerns me. That does look like something squished it a little bit because it should be a rectangle and not a parallelogram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's it for now. So, box number one for the Cobblebot. Waiting for box number two. Um, no word yet on when that stuff is shipping out, but it's supposed to include all the upgrades and the frame and the chassis and all that good stuff. So, see you then. Goodbye.